Hello everyone, uh, sorry about not posting any videos yesterday, this flu really got the better of me, uh, it's making it uh, really impossible for me to work, uh, but as the Isle of Man tournament uh, finished yesterday, Magnus Carlsen took the win, and uh, well, Anish Guri made a very funny remark about his victory, he said that you could really see the, uh, the influence of Larsen uh, by watching his games, and uh, well, that's funny because his girlfriend's last name is Larsen. But as that tournament is over, we can now get back to some real chess games. Uh, this game was played in 1948. It's played between uh, Rashid Nejmeddinov and uh, Vladas Mikenas. And uh, as Rashid Nejmeddinov, uh, well, he got all his uh, uh, Soviet master norms. So uh, the Soviets picked out uh, another Soviet master to test him so he could be granted his uh, Soviet, master no uh, so Soviet ma master title. And well, he was supposed to play against Lisitsin, and he prepared against uh, to play against Lisitsin. But in the last moment, uh, they chose Vladas Mikenas to replace him, a Lithuanian chess master, uh, who was later who later became an international master and also an honorary uh, grandmaster. So he had very little time to prepare for Mikenas, and uh, well, this is one of the games they played in their match. Uh, it's the uh, Alehin's defense, and uh, Rashid Nezhmedinov has the white pieces. So let's see this uh, interesting game. Uh, Rashid goes e4, we have knight to f6, uh, e5, knight to d5, and now c4, uh, the two pawns attack. We have knight to b6, and Rashid goes for c5, the Lasker variation. Uh, we have knight back to d5, and now bishop to c4. And we have e e6, defending the knight. Knight to c3, and uh, here uh, we have the move d6. Uh, this is uh, also called the Mikanas gambit as uh, Vladis Mikanas is the person who brought it into play. And it's, it results in a very sharp game for both black and white. Uh, we have knight captures on d5, uh, e captures on d5, and bishop captures on d5. So black is given up a, a pawn for rapid development, and here he plays c6. Uh, if, he would t if he were to capture this pawn, for example, d captures on e5, uh, uh, Rashid plays uh, queen to b3, uh, sorry, queen to f3. And uh, this is threatening checkmate on f7 and also threatening this pawn on b7. So instead, after bishop captures on d5, c6 is played. And uh, well, here Rashid goes for it. He plays bishop captures on f7 with check. We have king captures on f7 and now uh, pawn takes, uh, c takes on d6. And okay, uh, Rashid has 8 pawns, uh, Mikanas has 5 pawns, so it's really... Uh, uh, Mikanas is up a piece, but those central pawns are really strong. Uh, we have queen to e8, and Rashid plays queen to e2, now defending the e5 pawn. Uh, we have c5, uh, making room for the knight, and we have knight to f3. And here, Mikanas plays bishop captures on d6, so a counter sacrifice. And this is a pretty good move, uh, very resourceful. If uh, Rashid captures this bishop, for example, e, e captures on d6, uh, queen captures on e2, king captures on e2, now rook to e8 with check. Uh, king to d1 and for example bishop to g4 and this is perfectly fine for black uh, black doesn't really have any problems here so after this bishop to captures on d6 move uh, Rashid plays knight to g5 check and uh, well here we have king to g6 and uh, now if Rashid captures uh, captures this bishop e captures uh, on d6 then queen captures queen with check and then well Mikanas captures this knight on g5 uh, but Rashid plays uh, queen to d3 with check, uh, offering this knight on g5. Uh, so king captures on g5 is played, and now queen captures on d6 is played. And well, uh, here here is a pretty bad move for Mikenas. He plays queen to d8, and uh, well, he thinks that his king is extremely vulnerable now here on g5. But his king was actually okay there. Uh, White is threatening this d4 push, but after king to h5, Black can hold this. For example, knight to c6, uh, d4 with check, king to h5, and now queen captures on c5 and queen e7. Uh, this is perfectly perfectly fine for black. Uh, but after queen captures on d6, he played uh, queen to d8, and now we have d4 with check, king to f5, and now g4. Uh, king goes to e4, you don't want to capture the pawn to allow a move like rook to g1 check. Uh, we have queen captures on c5, and now rook to f8. Uh, you can't really capture this d4 pawn with the queen. Uh, if queen captures on d5, uh, on d4, sorry, this loses the queen. f3 check, uh, king to d3, queen to a3 check, king to c4, now queen b3 check, 
king c5 and now bishop to e3 and well uh, this loses the queen so after queen captures on c5 rook to f8 is played uh, we have castles by rashid uh, with ideas of rook to e1 check so uh, king to f3 is played uh, now h3 now allowing that bishop to capture on g4 uh, b6 is played attacking the queen we have queen to c3 check uh, king goes back to e4 and uh, here Rashid plays queen to c4 and in this position uh, Ladas Mikenas resigned the game as there is no defense whatsoever against rook to e1 check and well after rook to e1 check king has to go to f3 and rook to e3 is checkmate but whatever black plays uh, this is undefendable uh, he, he can prolong it with some moves for example bishop captures on g4 or maybe rook f3 but this all results in a in a pretty quick mate uh, for example, rook e1 check, uh, rook to e3, rook captures e3, uh, king f4, rook back to e1 check, king f3, and queen to e2. This is checkmate. Uh, but of course, after queen to c4, uh, Ladas Mikanas resigned the game, and uh, well, uh, Rashid won this beautiful miniature. This is uh, to, uh, the this is the twenty second move, and uh, well, although he did uh, produce a brilliant victory, and there were a lot more wins for Rashid. Uh, but the match was drawn and Rashid was not granted his Soviet master title. Uh, he became a Soviet master two years after after this game was played. So yeah, uh, it was a very nice game, uh, at least I think so. I do hope you enjoyed it. Uh, I would like to thank uh, Wellington Martinez, uh, Zechariah Finley, Thomas Gilbert and uh, Edward Labond for your contribution to my channel. Uh, thank you a lot, I really appreciate it. Uh, as usual, you can check two of my previous videos here. Uh, thank you all for watching and uh, I will see you soon.